Namaste. Hi. Brown reclining and side positions are effective for increasing the energy of the brain. So for the day, let's do that. So this will help you clear the mind and increase your energy levels. Yeah, there are only a few uh, elements or asanas in the sequence. Once you've gained familiarity with them, you can practice the sequence on your own and feel free to hold the positions for longer durations. Good, so starting lying on our backs. Yeah, so yeah. If you notice, I have this smooth and soft uh, cushion over my mat and this will help you calm your nervous system too. All right, and if you need, uh, grab another cushion for the head. Good, and let your body rest. So this is the first position called the Shavasana, the position of the corpse. So just relax the body, now hold it still, and mindfully breathe through the nostrils, inhale, and send the energy up to your sinuses, the forehead and across the temples. You may suspend at the top of the breath, maybe a couple of seconds there. And exhale, relax the jaw, let your body feel heavy. And just contour over the shape of your cushion. You feel the texture of your blanket. And relax your nerves, your skin. Ideally, holding each position for about one minute. Mm -hmm. Feel free to hold longer if you need. Sure. One more nourishing breath in. And exhale. Yeah, we blink our eyes open and we just move gently. So fold your knees and then circle your knees around. And this way, yeah, you break the stagnation of the energy trapped in the hips, especially if you're sitting for long periods of time working on your computer, taking short breaks yeah, in between your tasks will help you, you know, correct postural imbalances and relax your spine the hips too and the mouth side to side like this good and then just twist yeah extending one leg forward crossing the other knee on top and then spread the arm wide and then relax again every time you hold the position let your eyes relax behind your eyelids drop the jaw relax your gums Feel the breath, yeah? That's the secret. Now breathe mindfully, deeply. Right, and gather your leg back in. And the other leg too. Yeah. Right. And then that. You know, restoration once more. You may shift to one side and then come back and then changing. And come back. All right. And before we change the twist, then you lift the legs up like this and then just move your hips to a mild rocking motion. So we're doing some gentle inversions actually where we channelize the energy of the body to the brain. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, arms lift, and then just shake your legs, yeah. awaken the nerves, release the joints, shake the arms too, and then circle, point and flex, just spread the hands, spread the gaps between your toes. Beautiful. All right, fold the knees again. All right, and changing twist. Yeah. The other leg crossing on top. Beautiful. Yeah. 
And we also want to try to lightly touch the surface of your tongue against the hard palate behind your upper teeth. And then breathe mindfully through the nostrils. And by doing that, you direct the energy straight to the brain. And as you exhale, just allow your body to completely rest. And one more, one for breath in. All right, a nice open of the exhalation. Yeah, gather the legs again. Right. And my circles, yeah, from one side, left, and the other side. Right. Yeah. Decompressing our spine, just lift the head up, and just a mild tuck in here. All right, and then we're gonna roll on uh, fronts, yeah, belly down. Good. So just reversing. So folding one knee, yeah, and then let your body rest. If this is heavy for your head, your shoulders, yeah, grab the pillow there and let your back, the upper spine, yeah, and the head rest on that cushion. And once you feel relaxed here, you may fold the leg, circle around, swing the leg, the ankle, you know, pointing, flexing, and then just let your foot rest, so fold the knee even more, and breathe. So this position called the flapping fish. This decompresses the sacroiliac spine, so it's good for the health of your hips. Hmm. Alleviates tension from long periods of sitting. And the breath here is really deep. Yeah? And try to imagine your breath, yeah? visualize the breath, feeling all your cavities inside, the lungs, the abdomen, even the back of your lungs here, even the brain inside. Releasing. How I can be at the spine, just level the hips like this. You may set aside a cushion and then just a mild adjustment so the body becomes level. This. Fold the elbows in front, tucking the head, and then rest. Call the reverse corpse. Alternative to modify this, you may place your hands beside the hips. Good head and ease. Yeah. Or you can place the arms like the shape of the cactus. Yeah. Feel the breath, feel your abdomen cavity and pierce the breath to the back of your body, inflating the kidneys behind. It's the back of your lungs. Beautiful. All right. Just press your hands beside the chest, and a mild snaking of the spine forward, and a mild arching of the back. And exhale. Ease. All right, changing, uh, bending in the leg, support if you need. Right. Let me just change size so uh, I can give you more instructions. Now folding the leg, massage the knee. Feel free to lift the leg higher. Yeah. Swim the leg, yeah, side to side, a light flipping. And 
rest your foot and let the foot just go loose. Working from home you know, could have you know, many challenges, you know, but we can always find opportunity you know, and work it in our favor. You know, so if you're working from home, you know, like me, I do my admin work at home and I would normally just have my mat beside my working space, and put a blanket over it, and every time I feel the need to restore, I do this. Right? You know, five, ten minutes, you know, what hurt, yeah, for a more productive day. Good. And release. Level the hips again. Yeah. Reverse corpse. Yeah. Try any of those modifications. Yeah. I'll try with the arms lengthen to the front. Okay. And here adjust your hips low. beside the chest, snaking forward, and just hands and the mouth arching back. Inhaling and you exhale. Really fall. All right, lying on the sides now. Yeah. Turn to the side, folding both knees, fetal position. Yeah. Support again. Head rest. And here observe the breath. Yeah, this is powerful for balancing you know, the right and the left channels, the Ida and the Pingala. And here you can feel the upper nostrils instantaneously becomes clear and the breath can flow freely there. And even the top, like you're draining your energy from top, feels heavy down the bottom. Even the brain decompresses. While doing this, yeah, you might massage your ear here, the top ear, pulling the ear outside, away from the skull, you know, fold it, you know, pull it downwards, or you may do this separately, you know, while sitting, yeah. so I'm teaching you, you know, ways, yeah, you may put your index finger inside the uh, cartilage yeah, towards the inside of the ear, the eardrum, but not too deep and lightly push down to your skull. Uh, you will feel a soft spot there. Right, so what we do here is we massage yeah, the vagus nerve uh, which is responsible for many functions of the autonomic system yeah. and it's uh, one important thing uh, nerve or channel for relaxing in the mind all right all right and rest mm -hmm. good and from there, yeah, just a moment of belly down again. You decompress the spine, you know, fold both knees, circle around. You may lift and hang, and this stretches the lower spine. And as you do so, you may slide back and feel the side trunk lengthened. Good. And reversing, other side you top. Let me change again, so I can show you the demonstration, right, you may massage the ear, 
pull the ear gently out. Yeah, fold it behind the ear. Yeah. Inside, yeah. rest lightly, maybe just a few times. Press and maybe hold and release. Inside the ridge, yeah. press towards the skull and up, down. Gentle massage. Yeah. Pull it up and down away from the skull yeah. and rest again. And feel the breath. Beautiful. Inhalation, good on your tummies, yeah, good, low back, yeah. sweep the legs, crisscross, good, all right, land in the legs, hands inside the chest, extend the pressure up, Good. Extension again. Inhale. Yeah, you may do an upward dog if it's light or keep it low. Alright, from there, yeah, knees down. Yeah, tuck them under the hips. Inhale the spine to the front, away from your low back. And exhale the hip knees. To modify, yeah, you can place yeah, your pillow, yeah, if you need higher, do that. Or you can move and place your pillow between your thighs and your legs. Yeah, support the low back, yeah. yeah. Feel free to fold the elbows to the sides, or to the front, or to the back. Beautiful. Just place your hands beside the chest, rise up the kneeling. Extend the legs away from you. And then give your legs yeah, gentle rubbing like this. Yeah, knee joints. Good. You may shake the leg, circle. Yeah. And move your hips to a mild rocking motion. Wonderful. And cross the legs again. And beautiful practice, yeah? Something gentle, but you know, quite energizing, you know, revitalizing, not energizing muscular, but it gives this sense of lightness and clarity. And let's finish. Inhale, lifting hands over the hip. Fold the elbows, exhale the hands down. And then do one more. Inhale, rise. Side body long, and hands together. Cup in front of our hearts. And pull the hips low. Namaste to you. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.